Hello, this is Michael Jillian. Today I want to talk about my Workhost FC13S that I just received recently from Amazon. And right now it's not available on Workhost's website or on AliExpress, but maybe in the future it will become more available. And let's just compare between the FC13S and the regular FC13 that came out about a year ago. Uh, the major difference that I've seen was the price. The FC13 right now is $47 with 30% off, and the FC13S is actually $24 with 10% off. So it comes out to like a 10 to $15 difference. And that's the major difference. Um, but the other differences are obviously that the FC13 comes with Android 2, which is a, an advanced user interface for flashlight users. It comes with a simple mode and an advanced mode. So you can switch between the modes uh, for uh, depending on your um, you know user uh, advancement levels. And uh, the FC13 just has a simple mode. Um, so a simple UI user interface and for more simple users, this will probably be more beneficial, but you can always have the simple user interface on the FC13 and it'll still work the same way. Now the question is, why would you buy this one over this one? The answer is the price. Um, there's another difference and as you can see, this one is lighting up and I don't think, I can not find at least an ability for the FC13S to have a backlit switch. So only when you turn it on and turn it off will it have a backlit switch or when you're charging it, will the switch become backlit? So that's the other difference that I've noticed between them. Another difference that I just want to mention right out of the bat is that the FC13S does not have that many options. The FC13 has a bunch of options. And one of the options on the FC13, for example, is to have a, uh, a different LED, the SFT40 or the X, XHP50B. Um, and you could also have different tints, 6,500 or 5,000, uh, but the, um, the FC13S only has the option for uh, the 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 5000K tint and only has the option of the LED of the XHP50B. So you could only get those LED, that LED in the S, whereas you can choose on this one. Again, if you're a simple user, that won't make a difference to you. Um, other than that, I really like this flashlight. I just want to say a few things I like about both of them. First of all, the body looks really nice. It is a little bit chunkier than some of the other flashlights, like the Workhouse FC11. The FC11 is much thinner. Even if you're using the long tube, it is going to be thinner. But the FC13 is a little bit chunkier on the top. Um, I think it is also a little bit shorter than the FC11. I love the switch on the FC13 and the FC13S. They're both the same switch. Um, and as you can see, this one is more... Uh, bright white than this one. This one's a little more yellowish. Uh, they both don't have a magnet, which is something that I don't appreciate. You could also make both of them shorter to the uh, 18.6 uh, 350 instead of the 18.650. They both use 18.650 batteries. They both have a dual um, dual uh, reversible clip. And uh, they're both basically the same in all other manners. I really like the orange um, bezel on both of them. That's really nice. And honestly, I highly recommend this flashlight. I love this flashlight. This is always my, this is always my go-to flashlight. And I just like the switch. I guess the switch is just amazing on this. Um, other than that, I just want to say I like this flashlight. And whichever one you choose, you'll be happy. If you're a simple user and you don't have the money to spend, for sure, this is more worth it at $22. Um, and if you want to spend a little more money, then for sure, this is a good option. I love this. You could also get a magnetic tail cap if you want and put it on. It costs a little more, but uh, I think it's worth it to have a magnet on it. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you make your decision.